Beltrami County hits a huge milestone this year, and in celebration, many residents got a taste of what the area was like 100 years ago. Brendan Mack has that story. What was your reaction like when you first stepped foot here again? Wow! <laughs> Many residents got to travel back in time just for a day at the Beltrami County Courthouse. I haven't been here since probably when I bought my marriage license a long time ago. The County and Historical Society opened its doors for a tour, one that hasn't been done in over a decade. Do it as a recognition of the Beltrami County sesquicentennial. That is the 150th anniversary since the establishment of Beltrami County. I thought it would be a shame to miss this. The historic building was constructed for $40,000 back in 1902 and has since become a place safekeeping significant moments for many. A lot of changes, a lot of changes since then. And how at Christmas time we had the big Christmas tree in the middle and it went all the way up to the top. So the kids always wanted to come and see the Christmas tree. And in 1988, the courthouse was listed in the National Registry of Historic Places. And that's due to the fact that the building's exterior was kept almost exactly the same way since it was first built. They have done a lovely job. They have kept it original as much as possible. And before the courthouse was filled, the tower behind me here that's now being closed off used to be an observation point during the Cold War. See the area there, that was the original uh, district courtroom. Fast forward today, the courthouse serves various judicial procedures and remains a landmark in Bemidji. That's all original. In Bemidji, Brenna Mack, Lake News. In continuous celebration of the anniversary, the Historical Society will host a Voices of the Past Cemetery Walk next Thursday. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.